ज्योतिया वाली माता तेरी सदा ही जय तो तम सो Dr. Kapoor, you might have to unmute first, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Now you make me co-host also, please. Yeah, I think you are already you are already co-host. All right, dear, lovely, thank you. Okay, Namaskar, everybody. Om, Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Mata Di, Santoshi Mata Ki Jai, Santoshi Mata Ki Jai, Santoshi Mata Ki Jai. Keep your neck straight, spine straight, shoulder behind, one side. आंखें बंद ध्यान मुद्रा में बैठ के लंबा गहरा सांस लेंगे नाक से और मुंह से तीन बार पवित्र नाम ओम का उच्चारण करेंगे ओ ओ ओम भूर्भुवाम भर्गो देव दीमाई दियो यो नाम प्रचोदया ओम भूत भुवा तस्वितुर्वरेनियम वर्गो देवस्य दीमाई दियो यो नाम प्रचोदया ओ भूर भुवा तत्सवितुर्वरेनियम वर्गो देवस्य दीमाई दियो यो नाम प्रचोदया ओम सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिना सर्वे संतु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पैशंतु माँ कष्टित दुख भाग भवे ओ शांति 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 सर्वप्रथम वी आर गोइंग टू प्रे टू परमात्मा फॉर वेलनेस ऑफ एवरी वन होल यूनिवर्स everybody should be healthy wealthy enjoy prosperity nobody to suffer from any ailment whether that is physical mental spiritual social emotional or financial 
with these good thoughts, we'll start our session. As the Deepak is still burning, try to focus on this Deepak at your eye level. You can see mine one because as I haven't told you before. Go on looking at this light without blinking your eyes. This is known as Pratik Kriya. Pratik Kriya, which is a great help to get rid of any problem, physical, mental, spiritual. So try to look at the flame. Best is pure ghee Deepak, because so much good aroma. And this will kill all our foreign body like bacteria, viruses, or any foreign body. Bhut Pret ka nash hota hai isse deepak se. Bhut Pret ka nash. Yogi Jyoti jal rahi hai. Bhut nasdik nahi aayenge, bhaag jayenge sa. Or humari jo vikar hai, vishay vikar, we will get better. Iske laga ta dekhne se bahut fayda hai. Lagatar dekhiye, this is known as external. Bahar dekh rahe hain, bahari pratak. Kafi de dekhte rahenge deepak ko. Phir jab aankhe band karenge, to yehi jyoti yahan a jayegi apne agya chakra mein. Jisse humare concentration badhti hai. That is the main aim. Apne concentration ko achha karne ke liye. Or Anko ki roshni patti hai isse. Because we are looking continuously without blinking. And go on blinking till you get tears in your eyes or in your water from your nose. Carry on looking. Abhyas ke saath hota hai. Pehle kariye 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15, 20. Maybe then you can look at the same flame maybe for 2 minutes. With this come with practice. The longer you do it, when you close your eyes, the same flame is coming. And you can experience that divine experience. The flame is red flame, red. Like this flame, the shape is this. And that starts moving also, sometimes various directions. And your concentration is on that. That's what we want. Neen nahi aati. Jai Mataji, okay? Jai Mataji, Jai Mataji. Our need nahi aati, which is a very common problem. We all suffer on and off. But jab ye bimari lambi ho jati hai, to phir shreer ka chalna bhi muskil ho jata hai. You can't think straight. You are irritable. You are miserable. You are having more accident. You are having more falls. That's what is happening. People are falling, getting fracture of the hip, one of my friend got it day before yesterday. So, need nahi aati. This is a very common problem. We all suffer on and off. And they have done a survey in England also. One third of all suffering on and off from anindra, need nahi aati. Sleeplessness, insomnia. Medical term is insomnia. So today's topic is your insomnia. This is very common. They have done a survey that one third of the Britain population is suffering from this problem on and off. When you suffer for three months, that is known as short, less than three months, they call it short sleep problem. When it lasts more than three months, they call it long sleep problem. So you have to know yourself which category you come or you're lucky you're not having any problem. You sleep throughout the night from six hours, seven hours, or some of us maybe eight hours now, continuously without any break. And other people say this is a very big problem of the old age also. 38 to 40% of people over the age of 60s are suffering from this condition on and off. And the main reason is our medical problems, psychological problem, or combination of both. 
so that what is the root cause so now we will go on what is the i want to know whether i am suffering from this problem so what are the points you have to check that's very important find out yourself if you are suffering two or three of you did mention that we are suffering we will come back to that in the end of the session now julie the symptoms are like find difficult to sleep you go into your bed you can't sleep sleep maharani aati nahi hame sulane ke liye and then you wake up several times for which again there are various reasons various reasons that can be your physical reasons also or mental problem also for the physical reason will come back again what are there and then you stay awake whole night just lying down in your bed or other thing is you can get up early in the morning and then you can't go to sleep and you feel very tired when you get up the next day this is a sign do i get enough sleep or do i get very tired exhausted irritable and having more accidents the next morning don't want to do anything even difficult to go to work or difficult to do my daily routine in my house i can't do it i am too tired so this is what is happening and sometimes people say that the reason for that is why it is happening now why it is happening which is a such a common condition there are so many things why it is happening physically mentally spiritually and sometimes socially also what is our social circle what type of friends i have got we have to in, look into that also what type of friends i have got they always make me annoyed and irritable and make me give me low self esteem that can cause a lot of problem in our social life so we have to watch out what type of friends i have got and then they say this condition can also run in the family a mother couldn't sleep that maybe daughter or son can't sleep and then coming to your physical condition the most commonest is our diabetes the overweight what happen in overweight we get sleep apnea we do lot of snoring and sometime our breath is not there and that is known as sleep apnea because when there is increase of weight your tongue goes down to cover the airways and you snore so we have to look into it what is our weight are we overweight suddenly we are put on weight and we are having this problem and diabetes and then they say if you have got hyperthyroid that can also cause the problem then there are other mental conditions like people suffering from dementia depression and other central nervous system diseases like parkinson multiple sclerosis in motor neuron disease they can't sleep because of their brain damage and other thing is you know we all know that when we go on the flight the jet lag we can't sleep that is short time isn't it then the people who are doing shift work they work at night they sleep during the day and day is not enough there is so many problems in the house not adequate place to sleep even so shift work people they suffer more from this another condition is known as your restless syndrome the people get lot of problem in their legs they get pins and needle pain burning they can't sleep that is another condition known as restless syndrome that is because of the peripheral problem your nerves your veins your blood vessels which is giving you problem then coming to the very serious depressive conditions are your schizophrenia or bipolar disorder so these all land into that now one has to look at oneself what i am suffering because the treatment will according to that 
So this is in nutshell, what is your insomnia, which is a very, very common problem in life. Now, the best thing is they talk about to get rid of this very, very simple, change your sleeping habit. Make sure what is around you. First, come to your body. What you are wearing when you are going to bed. Cotton, loose clothes you are wearing. Then look at your bed also. Your bed sheets, do you change regularly or not? Then your mattress, is it very soft or very hard? Because you can't sleep on those, you need medium strength one mattress. And plus, how soon you change your mattress? We are supposed to change every 10 years, minimum, or maybe early, if you want to. What is your pillow life? How many pillows you are using when you are sleeping? Because we get a lot of neck problems. A, our pillow is too high or too low, or, or we are sleeping, which way we are sleeping in the bed, what posture we are using, whether we are sleeping on the side or we are crunching up ourselves or we sleep in shavasan. Now, again, depending upon if you are suffering from backache, you can't sleep in shavasan because the low back is very difficult. You can put another small cushion underneath your lower back. That might help you. Like we talk about the knees also. We put a knee cushion if we are suffering from knee problem. Knee pillow, we call it. So same thing goes for the back. How you are sleeping. How long you are sleeping. So this is about you and your bed. Then your room. What is the temperature of the room? Is it very cold or it is very hot? How much cluster is there? How many things are there? How many things are around you? Because all these are giving us negative forces are coming from that, from the clutter. So clutter has to be removed from the bed. Then make sure, even if you have got central heating, that gives you a lot of problem, but we do need, there's no other way. So maybe during the daytime, try to open the windows one or two windows, so that fresh is always there before you're going to your bed, you know. But make sure you are not having too much cold in the room, won't be able to sleep. Then other thing is we want digital zero zoom. What is here? Don't take your mobile, computer, or your iPad in your bedroom. That's what I do. Don't take them until there's something very important I have to see. Don't take them because that gives you a lot of disturbance. Plus, if you go on looking on those, you are getting bright lights. When there's a bright light, now what happened? Like the day is there, what is happening now? There is a hormone which is produced by our penile gland, which is at the level of my third eye. That is the level, you know. This penile gland gets activated in darkness. More hormone known as melatonin is coming when there is darkness. But when the day is there, we are not sleeping. Why not? Because that hormone is not there. Penile gland is not giving me that hormone. That's why I don't feel like sleeping. At night, by nature, when it is darkness, we start yawning. We want to sleep, isn't it? So that's what is happening, you know. This hormone which is controlling my sleep, melatonin, which is produced by one of the glands of the brain known as penile gland. Agya chakra ke area pe have a gland. So this is what the day is meant for work and night is meant for rest. And the bedroom is meant for sleeping plus plus something else. Not for reading not for reading, putting on this computer and iPad. Now, other thing is these things are very important to do and not to do. Always have light food in the evening so that your tummy is not full with the food. You won't be able to sleep. They say always have your dinner maybe two to three hours before you are going to sleep. And other thing is they say always do in the evening 
gentle exercises, low intensity exercises like walk, you know, gentle walk, not running around. Don't make too much exercises late in the evening, especially two to three hours before you are going to bed. But on the other side, if you want good sleep, have good exercise throughout the day. Go for a long walk, do dancing, jogging, laughter, that will help us also. Smiling all the time. So these things should be done. Try to relax. You know, some people get relaxation having a hot bath before going to bed. Other people get a lot of relaxation. They read a book. They, they read, let's say, you are reading some religious books, which is giving you more calmness. We are reading religious books. Or other thing is go on doing your chanting. Get hold of mala and go on doing it. I'm sure you will only do maybe 28 and you are sleeping. And whole night you are having good dreams. You are meeting lovely friends. You are meeting some saints. You are going for your yatra. Those things will come during that when you do chanting before going to bed and make sure there's no worries before you're going to bed. Many times our problem is as we don't keep our plan, we make plan, but the plan doesn't work out. We are thinking at the late night, oh, 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 I have to pay my bills. I haven't paid my bills. So these worries should not be there. Or tomorrow I'm going for a function, what I'm going to wear. Sort that out in the afternoon. What clothes you are going to wear, what jewelry you are going to wear, sort it out before. Don't think at late night because that gives you sleep disturbance. We are social animals. We are going here, there for parties. So these things are very, very important to look after yourself and not to do is don't have tea or coffee or caffeine in any way. Have some, but try to have maybe by six o'clock, nothing after that, or maybe one four o'clock, depending on how bad you sleep. And then, as I said, don't do strenuous exercise before going to bed. Not to watch television, as we mentioned, television, computer, iPad. And don't try to sleep during the daytime, if possible. Only people who are allowed to sleep is at this age maybe for 15, 20 minutes, cat nap. Because that makes them more better, you know. They are more, they can concentrate and they can work better if they have short naps. Don't have bright nights also. And always try to make sure everything is okay, what I have mentioned before you go to bed. Other thing is, we don't drink, so we don't worry for that. And smoking also. Cut down smoking if you're smoking or stop smoking and don't drink. Because that alcohol also disturbs your sleep. Now, these are the few things we are doing. Now, most of the things we can correct ourselves. But if the condition come, you have tried all this year, we call it sleep hygiene. And still it is not working then best thing is consult your GP. He will guide you. He might give you some more tips or he might prescribe for you metatonin, which is you can take. Or he will say, uh, in the bed also we can have, you know, various uh, aromatherapy oils, you know, which you can use. Other thing they say, put some flower in your room. Multiple color flowers. That also helps you. That cheers up. That why we give flowers to each other. Cheers up. Cheers up. Doing all this, even then you're not getting on better. Life is getting very difficult. Then what should we do? Still we are going back to GP and he will send us to the sleep clinic. They will investigate, especially if you're suffering from too much snoring, sleep apnea. So sleep apnea Clinic, they will send you and they give you also counseling for 
cognitive behavior therapy also. That changes you completely. And sometimes the doctor send you to talk, talk clinics also, where you go and talk, open up yourself, self-help group, as we say. So these sessions are running all over in most of the boroughs now, you know. Go and consult them. Now, many reasons why we can't sleep, you know. It's very easy we say. Look at the people who have got bereavement. They can't sleep first few nights when they lose very dear ones. Or somebody has got divorce, they can't sleep. Or there is financial crisis has occurred, they can't sleep. So there are so many reasons. Some are very simple, some are very complicated. So the treatment is done according to your cause for not to sleeping. The best thing is our acupressure and some mudras also and some asana. As we practice our yoga every day, we know there are so many steps which we can get from our protocol and do that more. Now coming to active pressure, which is very, very important. We can do active pressure in various ways. Literature is full of these things, different techniques. We will take very, very simple technique. Now I am starting now with Put cream or oil. I am putting on my jaw. Lot of cream. Nice cream. Yes, you can also put some cream. Yes, done it. Give nice cream all over. You can use any cream, any oil. Best is should cause him. Nice aroma. See, nice aroma. And try to relax yourself. Take long deep breath from the nostril. Long deep breath. Depending upon your practice, two and a half seconds in, or maybe even five seconds, slowly and slowly. In. And exhale from the nostril. If you're very tense, let's say, chinta khara then you can do. Breathe from the nostril, exhale from the mouth. That gives you extra coolness, coolness. So depending upon how you feel, you know, that is important. Yes, do three, four times deep breathing. You're doing your Bhadrika Pranayama. Pranayam is already started. Bhartrika Pranayam, hands are in. Dhyan Mudra. You are increasing the oxygen level in the body. And this oxygen going to every cell of my body. This is carried away from the red blood cells to the cell, and there is the nucleus mitochondria where the sugar is there, plenty of sugar. So this oxygen will burn the sugar and increase my energy, heat. Go on breathing, bhakti ka pranayam, lift up your spine so that all the Chakras are in alignment. No displacement of any chakra. Very good. Well done. Okay. We'll go on breathing throughout every step. This is our base. 
pranayam is our base. Now we have rubbed nicely with the oil or the cream. Now, now we'll start the first one, Manipur Chakra on my hand, the middle of my palm. Go on rotating like circular movement. I am activating my Manipur Chakra. Yes, this will give me a lot of relaxation. Main problem is at that chakra, which is making me insomnia. I can't sleep. So put it on your lap, close your eyes, go on breathing. Bhaddi ka pranayam. And chanting the Lord's name inside. Om. Om. Inside. Best medicine is Lord's name. Sabche badi aushad hai Prabhu ka naam. Koi bhi naam aapke juchi ke anusar. Jo aap practice karte ho. Go on. Circular movement. At the middle of the palm. We call that a kidney point. Yes. That is the one. Manipur Chakra. Go on doing this, maybe if you have got enough time, two minutes, each palm, both the hands, turn by turn. And go on breathing, long deep breath in and out. The same time, equal duration. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in your poor work and breathing out your rechak. Go on doing. We have done the, I have done my left hand. Now we'll do our the right hand with the thumb of my left hand. Circular movement. Enjoy every step. This is your acupressure we do every day. Even if you do for one minute, and if it is evening time, we'll be sleeping. At the moment, we can't because we are running a session. Plus, sun is quite bright in my room. So how can I sleep? My penile gland is not working, inactive at the moment. So go on rotating, circular movement with a smile on the face, chanting inside, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare When we are singing loud, we are already doing pranayama. Breathing in and breathing out, isn't it? So pranayama is our adhar our life. They're doing all the time. Singing, dancing, laughter, yoga, whatever we are doing, we are doing pranayama. That's what we say. We should spend our 80% time on pranayama, 20% on asana and exercise, if you want to get better. In every way, spiritually, you are uplifted when you think of the Lord. When पुकार जब करते हैं भगवान से तो अपने आप एक्टिव हो जाते हैं हम पुकारो उसको जिसने सब कुछ ठीक करना है सो वी हैव डन दैट वेल डन एवरीबॉडी द नेक्स्ट वन पॉइंट इज यू नो अवर स्पाइन पॉइंट सो वी आर डूइंग द साइड ऑफ अवर दिस साइड ऑफ अवर थंब सो वी हैव टू रब दिस गोइंग अप एंड डाउन up to down, down to up. Carry on again this with the breathing, chanting inside. 
maybe one to two minutes again. This is our spine. We are giving massage on our spine. Whole thumb side, this side. This side is our spine. So go on massaging. When we put oil or cream, that gives good movement. Otherwise, feel very dry, isn't it? Chalye. Carry on. Carry on. Because of worry, fear, bereavement, anger, no confidence. So, as we do every day, do your thumb. I'm worried. I haven't paid my bills. I don't know what will happen. What a tax man will ask me on my return. Worry. Lot of worry at the moment. We are all doing our tax return. So go on rubbing like this. Take away your worry. Insomnia is because of that. It's a big problem. See worry. Then come your fear. Oh, I don't know what will happen tomorrow. Or I live for the day, for the second. Don't know next second will come or not. Past is dead and gone. Present we are living. Future is unknown. But we all worry. Fear, fear. Another one is your anger. Why I am suffering from diabetes? What I have done wrong? I was very careful. I am not overweight. Why? So many whys. Why my thyroid gland is not working? I do so much pranayam and asan. Why? The next come bereavement, any shock, any sad news has come. Bereavement. So go on rubbing with the knuckles is much better. But again, if you have got your problem of arthritis in the small joints of hands, you can't do it. Then you do as you can do it. Never force ourselves for anything. Whatever we do, we enjoy and we get the benefit. Then come little finger for my confidence. I have no confidence. So we are going on rubbing. Carry on. 
and this one we already done the other fingers we are doing our uh, other hand our thumb carry on at home you can do for longer time thumb index finger the middle finger ring finger and the little finger okay well done the next point is very important please note they are webs in between the fingers these are the webs upper part of your junction of these two like this this is very important the web point so you, and they are known as detoxifying points also okay so do every web every web every web see next one these webs are very very important for insomnia the place is upper part of your palm in between the finger webs then thumb come so we are supposed to do it in both the hands we start another hand now give nice pressure acute pressure you are doing acute pressure every web i am sure if you do only a two step then you are sleeping then the next thing as you all know there are various other things we do you know same the oil or almond oil or whatever oil is at hand or ghee what else we do again acupressure points soak your feet in lukewarm water let them soak for some time then dry them up and put oil on your soul on your soul that will make you sleep much better then other thing you can do if there's not much time you see you want to sleep maybe you're worried for tomorrow you're flying out early morning that is another reason we can't sleep when we are going to india early flights we can't sleep simply take oil there's so many techniques and rub your neck rub your neck the shoulders rub your shoulders and you can do your spine but you can't do all the spine that's why this one is more effective my thumb i can't reach i can't reach because i'm not that flexible otherwise you're supposed to do the whole spine if somebody is there do your massage you are very lucky otherwise you can't do your whole spine so best thing is try to do your side of your thumb up and down up and down up and down up up down down up down up carry on then other thing is you know all we know relaxation techniques are there so many so many some say simple breathing in and out relaxing other say do your kumbhak also holding your breath in between there are so many techniques i will just tell you about one where you are doing kumbhak but again kumbhak is not for everyone if you are suffering from severe heart problem breathlessness please don't do it that is important in that you do breathing for 4 second this is your sort of meditation to relax you completely go on breathing for 4 second if you can then you hold for 7 second
Then you exhale for eight seconds. So these are various ways. Others say simply just sit and go on breathing. Just relax yourself. Whole body relaxation. And in our yoga practice, as we do Shavasana, that is the one. Name is Shavasana. Crops. Margaya. Marawa jase pada. Shavasana. And other, as you go on with the Shavasana, you go into yog nindra. That's what we want, yog nindra. In yog nindra, usually you are following the instructor, what they are talking, you know, throughout. They start from shavasan and then they carry on talking. And ultimately you go in that state of sleep. You're not sleeping actually. You, you know everything what is happening, but your body is so calm. And you get rid of all the problems, whatever the problem is. Hypertension, heart problems, severe acidity, or sleeplessness, depression, everything, get rid of that. But the proper yoga ninda take about 45 minutes to go full. Short one is not. We do short shavasana. After doing many asanas, or even doing two or three asanas, we are supposed to go back to shavasana so that we relax ourselves, cool down ourselves. So these are the one acupressure I have told you. Now coming to our mudras. And while doing mudra, we will be doing kapal bhati so that we cover our session of yoga. But again, if you are having sleeplessness, don't do kapal bhati at night. Only you are supposed to do three a badrika you can do, uh, you can't sleep. So go on breathing or unlom vilom. And the other one which is very, very helpful is your bhamri pranayam. Do that for longer time. And then you can do udgir also. And pranav, of course, you are in a silent meditation. The other thing is they say to get sleep, you are breathing. Start counting reverse. Many people try that also. Start counting reverse order. 100, sitting, 199, 98, 97, 96, 95. When you're counting, already you have done five or six and you're sleeping. Okay? Again, this depends how bad is your sleep? In many, these help, these simple techniques are very, very helpful. And if it doesn't help, already I've mentioned, see your GP and sort it out. They can help you, they can refer you to various clinics, especially if you're suffering from snoring. So to get rid of snoring, what we have to do? Do Ujjayi Pranayam for a long time, not three times, with the proper technique. The breathing should be this one, vocal cord, not your nasal passages. So we will do that. So let's go and start doing Kapal Bharti. And I will mention the mudras which is going to help me. Yes? So let's sit straight. Enjoy every step. <laughs> Who is there, my friend? Somebody's open. No. Okay, lovely. Lady, we'll start Kapal Bharti, keeping in mind all the precautions. If you're suffering from hypertension, heart problems, severe acidity, severe asthma, severe backache, Please do it slowly. Follow your body. Follow your body. And if you're having major surgery, don't do for four to six months, even after minor surgery, on the instruction of your physician or your yoga teacher. 
because some steps you can't do it. And other thing is, if you're having severe headache, don't do it. Bleeding from anywhere, whether a menstrual bleeding or you are having menses or nose bleeding or bleeding from any part of the body. Don't do it. These precautions are very important. Keep in mind. Coming back to your glaucoma, that is also a very common problem. So please, if it is severe glaucoma, don't do it. Don't do it, Kapal Bharti. Let's start with the mudra. First mudra is our Gyan mudra. One stroke, one second. The full attention is on your breathing out. Automatically we're breathing in. So my cause for over, can't sleep is overweight, diabetes. So doing Kapal Bharti, I will be getting that. Diabetes will get better. I'm activating my pancreas and I'm going to lose weight. This is the instant effect of Kapal Bharti, losing weight. And I have got over thyroid, overactive thyroid, which is giving me insomnia. So my thyroid gland will get better by doing Kapal Bharti. So many benefits. Other thing which is very important, drink a lot of water. People who don't drink enough water, they are dehydrated. So what happens when we are dehydrated? The blood pressure shoot up, sugar level shoot up, and we can't sleep. So make sure there is enough hydration in the body. Carry on with the kapal bhati. And you're getting extra benefit. You're activating all rest of the organs of your stomach, the liver, fatty liver, cirrhosis, cancer of the liver, hepatitis. So many benefits. Improving your lipids level. Root cause of many problems, this high level of lipid, especially the low density. Low density lipoprotein. Kidney function will improve. So you're done Gyan Mudra. The next one is our Pran Mudra. Touching the tip of the ring and the little finger with the tip of the thumb. Keep your neck straight, spine straight. At home, you can practice for a long time. Maybe one, one, for one, one minute. And after a month, for two, two minutes. Give a smile on the face. Well done. The next mudra, which we do every day, any mudra, the fist mudra, first mudra of the life. This is going to improve my sleeping pattern. 
I can't sleep. I get up in between. So do Eddie Mudra. So many other benefits. We all know that for the lungs and whatnot. Eddie Mudra is very good for the sleep also. Eddie Mudra. You are opening up the upper part of your lobes also. You can sleep better. The other thing which is very important for sleep is follow your routine. Get up at the same time and sleep at the same time. That comes all under the topic of sleep hygiene. Make sure the whole abdomen is moving. Exhaling from the nostril, full attention. Speed is either slow speed or medium, no fast. One stroke, one second. Madhyam shakti, madhyam gati. Lake is up. Well done. Next one is Surya Mudra. Surya Bhagwan ki jaya. Shakti milti hai usse. Shakti. To get better with all the organs of the body. Correct all the defects of the body. The lipids. The blood sugar. The kidney function. Surya Bhagwan ki jaya. Om Suray Nama, Om Suray Nama. Carry on inside chanting. Surya Bhagwan, Kitte de Alu hai. Javne yate to dil udas ho jata hai. Depression ho jati hai. Kuch karne ko dil ni karta jab Surya Bhagwan ni yate to. Kapal Bhati with Surya Mutra. Carry on. You are doing very well. I can see you all. Give a good smile. Carry on. Just abdomen is moving, nothing else. Full function is on my abdomen. I'm going to lose weight. This overweight won't let me sleep. I am getting better with my diabetes. That also makes you not to sleep. The thyroid gland is overactive. I want to balance my thyroid gland. Getting rid of toxins from my brain also. I'm worried for nothing. Too much anger, greed, chinta, fear, dar lagta. I want to abhayam. Mujhe koi dad nahi hai. The first shloka of sixth chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is 
आ भयम किसी से नहीं डरना कैरी ऑन नेक्स्ट मुद्रा इज कमिंग योर दुर्गा मुद्रा माता रानी की मुद्रा आई वॉन्ट मोर शक्ति रिमेंबर एवरीबॉडी थम इन फर्स्ट फिंगर गोइंग ऑन द थम then touch your tip of ring finger and the little finger once again thumb in first two finger on the thumb touch your tip of ring finger and the little finger this is your durga mudra shakti mudra we need shakti to sleep so do kapal bharti with shakti mudra And go on chanting, jai jai ambe, jai jai kudambe, jai jai ambe ma, jai jai ambe ma. Come on, everybody. Jai jai ambe ma, 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 jai jai ambe ma. शक्ति दे दो भक्ति दे दो शक्ति दे दो भक्ति दे दो जय जय अम्बे माँ 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 चलिए लेट क्लैप नाउ एंड सिंग लाउडली जय जय अम्बे माँ Jai Jai Ambe Ma, Jai Jai. You're doing acupressure. This is our chart treatment. It's a low lakti hai. Uske saath isse lagani hai. Come on, everybody. I can see you. Jai Jai Ambe Ma, Jai Jai Ambe Ma. Move your body. Exercise it. Jai Jai Ambe Ma, Jai Jai Ambe Ma. जय जय अम्बे माँ जय जय अम्बे माँ जय जय अम्बे माँ जय जय अम्बे माँ जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे कैरी ऑन कैरी ऑन आई एम वॉचिंग यू आई एम वॉचिंग यू लेट्स ऑल ज्वाइन इन दिस टाइम फॉर कीर्तन भजन कीर्तन जय जय अम्बे माँ 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 जय जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे जय जय अम्बे जय अम्बे जय जगदम्बे जय जय अम्बे few mudras specially which is going to make us sleep better okay next one we are going to move our to our 
ujjayi pranayam. That is also very important. Not to suffer from sleep apnea. And there are so many other benefits also of ujjayi. This is anti-aging, anti-snoring. And you are going to lose weight also. Plus, you look much younger than your age. So if you want to hide your age. Yes. It's going to open up all the nasal passages, the sinuses, good for the eyes also. And then major effect is on your thyroid gland, parathyroid gland. Overactive thyroid is giving me problem. It's good for heart and lungs. And this is good for even for speech defects. If you are stammering, now, technique is very, very simple. Very simple. Your hands are, I use mainly Vayu Mudra. Because this aid, as you know, we are suffering from extra vata. Too much air in the body, which is giving me arthritis and making my digestive system very, very low. No agni here. Jatar agni is going down. So activate that to improve my digestion power. That will be extra benefit. Keep your neck straight, spine straight, shoulder behind. Squeeze your neck muscles because the whole work is done by the vocal cords here. Yes, squeeze your neck muscle. Put your hand here at the vocal cord. The voice box. Breathing from the nostril, the sound will be produced from here. The vocal cord, which is constructed like a snoring sound. Snoring. Snoring sound will come here. In the beginning, you do very, very little, small time. Then as you're practicing for some time, take deep, long in. But don't worry for that if you are a beginner. Just little, little you do. Then you hold your breaths. Bring your chin close to your chest. If there's no neck ache, or you haven't got any breathing problem or severe heart problem. You never hold your breath, as I mentioned before. Bring your chin close to your chest. Just bring it down. Don't do like this. No. Just bring it down. You're holding your breath depending upon your stamina, your practice. How long you can hold? Maybe three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. And when the time will come, you might be able to hold for 40 seconds or maybe one minute, but don't try in this room session. Nothing at all like this. Just hold for a short time. Can't hold anymore. Then bring your chin straight up, look straight. Close your right nostril with the right thumb. Exhale from the left. This is a technique. Okay. Hands are in. Vayu Mudra, you can put one finger here just to feel. <laughs>
well done. See, you can make the difference of the voice even. It is more clear. So, because your throat is clear, you know. That's why they say it's good for the musicians also. If you're going to sing somewhere, just try to do it this for five times. You may, can make the difference. Your voice is very harmonious. So that's why I call it, this is singer pranayam, singer. Okay, the next one is, there are some asanas which we can do to improve our insomnia. Very, very simple poses are there. Not very strenuous, simple. We will stand up now. First one is just standing. You are just standing. You can see my feet is touching the ground tightly. You can put your hand here. Stay in this position known as Uttan Asan. This is very good for your spinal pro problems also. Low backache because you're making your spine erect. Stay like this. Then next, arms in front, and I am going down very gently, very gently. I'm going down. Now, if you have got backache, you're not supposed to bend your spine at all. So watch out for that and go down more, slowly and slowly, slowly. If you're quite flexible, no problem. You can go down up to your toes and bring your head down. Stay there. By doing this, you are increasing the circulation of blood in your brain also. Then you come up slowly. Relax. The next one is, while lying down, you can do so many poses. Knees on the ground. Here you can do your baby pose. Then come up slowly. You can do your Cow's pose. So many other benefits by doing this cow's pose as we have done before. Look up for your spine.
stay there for a short time. 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Very good. The next one is your legs on the wall, as we have done before. If wall is not nearby, you can do on the chair also. This is the chair. And here is my wall also. I'm sorting out my wall. Can you see the wall? Oh. <laughs> See, this is the wall. My legs are on the wall. Put your legs on your wall. <clears throat> that gives you so many benefits. <clears throat> yes, you can see my leg going. Do you want me to show? Uh... Yes. Okay. Um. <coughs> I can't see how my back is there. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Just imagine your legs are on your wall. And you can move it sideways. <coughs> okay. You can do on the chair also. If there's a chair nearby. See, there is the chair. Chair. See, you can see on the chair. Yes. Lie down, stay there. Said so many benefits. This on we preach karniyasan for any leg problem, swelling of your ankles, the legs, varicose veins, pins and needles, for the low back ache. <coughs> Stay in this position for short time and enjoy yourself. Next to your Shavasan. Shavasan. Shav. We do Shavasan every day. There is a gap about one and a half feet between your legs. Palm facing the ceiling. Just relax. Your heel are in and the forefoot is out. Your arms are about four to five inches away from the body. Now try to relax the whole body. Try to visualize and the feel also. Start from your feet the toes of your feet. Try to move them a little bit. It is well relaxed. 
Ankle joint is relaxed. The calf muscles, the knee joint, the thighs, they're all relaxed. Your pelvis, the lower abdomen, relax. All the organs of the abdomen, they are relaxed. The chest, the lungs, the heart, they're all relaxed. You can feel the heartbeat. Dil ki dhadkan, dhadkan, dhadkan. Then the neck, relax. Over the face, the mouth, the teeth, the gums, the nose, the sinuses, the eyes, they're all relaxed in peace. The forehead, no tension. The brain, calm, peace, harmony. And try to visualize your whole back. And the upper arms. The fingers, palm, the wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder. All relax. I am in peace. Feeling very light, secure in the lap of Mother Earth. No fear. I am feeling better. I will sleep better. I am getting rid of my sleeplessness. Ah, Nindra. I am going to sleep for six hours. I am going to sleep. Sleep. Om, 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 Om. om. Now slowly move your body. Let take the left turn. Put the hand on each other. Rest your head on your hand. Bend your knees. You can stay for a long time, but not in this class. Then you get up with the help of your hand and sit. Rub your palms. Put 
the form on your eyes. Slowly open your eyes. Remove the hand. Give a nice smile. Massage. Mm. This is your Urja, the Shakti which you have gathered. So this is what Shavasana is. When you continue with the instruction of the teacher, going into Yog Nidra. We have done some poses. Now we go back to now. Our pranayam. Yeah. Okay. We'll do alone, alone. Then we do Vamari, Udgit, and Pranav. They all make me better for my sleep problem. They are all very important. We are supposed to do for a long time. But time doesn't permit here. Okay? So I, I'm sorry. I will do very, very fast rather. Alone, alone. Next is Bhamri. This is very, very important. Try to do this many times at home, especially if you are getting this problem of hypertension, hyperacidity, sleeplessness, menopause problems, increase your immunity. Mm. Udgit <clears throat> pranayam three times. Oh, oh. Pranav, we are in the seat of silent meditation. Fix your mind either on your breath or the third eye and go on chanting the Lord's name inside. We are supposed to do this for a longer time. And we are in the state of gratitude. Shukrana. I am never alone. The supreme power is always with me. I am never alone. I am never alone. I am never Thank you, thank you, thank you. Raise your arms up, rub your palms, put the palm on your eyes, slowly open your eyes and remove the hand. <coughs> Most important again, our single son will do twice. <coughs> ah! Sarve Bhavantu Sutina, Sarve Santu Niraya, Sarve Bhadrani Fashion, Maka Shidukha Bhavarit, 
Okay, ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.